So, this is a quick demo of the New York Times Even Extractor in Wondora, which you can find by going to File, Extract, News, and New York Times API Extractor. Uh, we have both the Article Search and the Even Search APIs done for New York Times API and here we're going to click on even search where you have a query field for the event so you have a free text search for events and then you have filters either geographic or, or based on facets so you can define a box within which you look for events or a circle based on center coordinates and a radius or then you can filter events based on facets and also based on time ranges so you can limit your search to a range of dates or a certain start or end date and we also have an offset and a limit so pagination if you will and here we're going to just use the circle uh, filter and, and uh, limit our search to one kilometer from the New York Times building on Times Square. And we're going to limit our events to 100 and click on extract. And here we are presented with a dialog for the API key you need. You can register at uh, developer.nytimes.com. The site looks something like this, where you get to request an API key and then you find your keys to the different New York Times API implementations on, on your key page. I'm just going to fill in my API key and edit it out so you don't able to see it. All right, so we got a result from this server. Uh, from New York Times server and we should have a list of different classes of topics under Wondora and New York Times API where the principal event is or the topic is event which represents all the events you find from we have listed at, at, at New York Times and then we have classes for different data associated with those events so you have the description and date and end date and latitude and longitude so the location and dates and venues and such. So clicking on event we can actually list all the events we have found or just double click on event and you can see all the events listed as instances of the event class. Um, here and if we click on any one of these we should find all the attributes and classes and, and, and associations listed with that event. So we have a short event description, uh, the location, the event date, the category which is jazz and, and the event venue, Birdland. Um, and that we have Categories and, and venues we can use to look up different categories or venues of events. So this is actually pretty useful. You can click on theater at category and then you get a list of all events associated with theater. Or from, from venue you can click on, for example, Pearl Theater and you can find all the events at Pearl Theater. In this place only, in this case only Uncle Vanya. Or if we have recurring even events, we can actually look up days of week and click on, for example, Friday. And this is all the recurring shows on a Friday happening around. I'm guessing these are mostly movies or theater shows. That would be my guess. Right, so we can also view all these events uh, in, in different visualizations we have built into Vandora. So what we're going to do here is, is we're going to open up the web view 
um, that view panel from bottom right click on that view and well this is a generic web page render rendition of, of the event called day of week or Friday in this case which we had opened but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to the top right corner we have a menu button here and click on open Windows services and click on Google Maps we don't have the server running at the moment so we click OK to start that first and now we have all of those events we extracted uh, here on the map most of them are not surprisingly around Times Square which is here and I'm guessing these are the theaters around Times Square where most of the events take place and then you have some outliers here as well this is a pretty useful way of getting a bird's eye view of, of, of these events we have implemented this map visualization for other uh, extracted events as well uh, but there is no generic way of, of figuring out what a location or how a location is presented in a topic so there is no generic or general way of, of, of putting a topic on a map but for New York Times events we have uh, a special implementation of the location here um, and you can do your do them yourself as well it's pretty easy you can look that up in the in the code also uh, what we can do is, is look up a graph visualization of, of of the topics we have here in, in the current topic map by going again in the menu and open Wonder services and d3 graph so this is done using the d3 JavaScript library uh, I guess it's actually associated with New York Times as well uh, pretty useful, pretty nice library you can find online and then the, what we have here is all the events and their associations and class subclass relations visualized as a graph where this generic blob here is the main window uh, topic map uh, class hierarchy which you get anytime you actually open Wonder app and then you have from Wonder class you have a subclass of New York Times API going here and this is everything we extracted now so we have the events and then we have the venues here as a blob and, and then we have categories here and what you can use this visualization for is to get a quick view of, view of, of how your topic map is structured and, and how how different topics are associated with other things so you can you pretty easily see that there's some clicks for and where there is a single association or it's not a click but anyway you have a, a single topic that's associated with a lot of things and those are pretty much represented as these blobs whereas you might have some other outliers or small topics that don't necessarily have anything associated with them or very little associated with them and you can see those as usually topics somewhere in the edges of the of the graph basically all the layout is is based on on on, on forces so you kind of have the small force uh, pulling everything apart and then you have those associations working as a glue pulling each other or pulling topics associated with each other closer to each other so you usually get uh, blobs formed of associated topics and then you get separations of topics that are not associated with anything or are not really associated with anything so this was a quick demo and, and thanks for watching and, and, and uh, Hope you to see you again soon.